In this video, we're going to discuss and take a look at a complete oil furnace and look at the, the different components that we'll find uh, in an oil furnace. What we're looking at right now is the burner. We're going to zoom out a little bit so we can uh, see a, a better picture of it. And you can see on the left side where the pump is connected, where the copper oil tubing is coming in. The blower assembly is in the center where we really just see it at this point here. We see the well burner, we see the pump, and that is the motor which is driving both the blower wheel inside of this and controlling the oil pump. The spark generator is located here. The controls to operate the, uh, the burner assembly is located there. And this is the port where you actually see the flames inside of the combustion chamber. The stack pipe is located there, but as we go up, we can see the barometric damper. The barometric damper is designed for draft to make sure that we get in the proper uh, flow through the chimney and the stack pipe. But also what it does, it helps dilute the uh, flue gases which is uh, going through the chimney to make sure that it's not too hot to cause damage to the chimney. So it has multiple purposes. So we look through, we can see that it's designed to have a counterweight on it to be able to adjust to, for proper flow for this particular furnace. So basically this is a very simple uh, operation. Of course at the very bottom, this is, this is an upflow furnace, it has the blower assembly for the uh, airflow through the house located at the bottom of it. So this is, like I say, a basic type of oil furnace. It's very simple. Uh, high limit fan control is located here. It's just like it's a regular Honeywell type to control the operation of the blower once the heat exchanger heat up and once it calls for um, it to shut off it will remove residual heat from the heat exchanger.